here's why you never mess with a guard of the tomb of the unknown soldier i'm curious to see what we got with this and see what exactly we're gonna have in this video before we do get into this appreciate if you guys can add a subscribe button let's see why you shouldn't be messing with the tomb of the unknown soldier remain behind the chains of rail you behind the rail remain behind the chains of rail the tomb of the unknown soldier is guarded round the clock by some of the most elite soldiers in the world but right. the lives of this exclusive band of guards have spent centuries shrouded in mystery okay. everything from their lifestyles rules and regulations all the way to what they are allowed to do to tourists that get too close oh, really? ready to take a peep behind america's most fearsome soldiers and see why they should never be messed with let's get started uh oh the tomb of the unknown soldier is one of the most guarded places on earth with civilians first patrolling the site from wait, wait, wait. I knew it was well guarded, but I didn't know it what it's one of the most well guarded on earth. Soldier is one of the most guarded places on earth. Oh, wow. With civilians first patrolling the site from 1925 to prevent families from having picnics near the tomb. Okay, While makes sense. the military would take over from 1926, it wasn't until 1937 that a continuous rotating guard schedule was implemented. Since okay. then, the tomb has been continuously guarded 24 hours a day, seven days a week the patrol has Mad. never once stopped not even through the september 11 attacks hurricane isabel and an earthquake in 1944 that measured 5.9 on the richter scale wait wait, wait wait so no matter what hits them in that area they just gotta keep guarding no matter what like the craziest storm of all time they just got bro that's that's crazy man so where do these unknown soldiers come from well unfortunately in the theater of war it isn't always practical or even possible to collect all the fallen bodies of right. the squad especially in the heat of the battle for this reason it can sometimes be weeks months or even years until the remains are discovered wow Back then we didn't have the luxury of dna profiling okay. or reliable ways to match the list of missing soldiers with the discovered corpses so for many soldiers they were buried in graves simply marked unknown wow that's so sad to think about bro but it is um it is good that america's got this thing that is a memorial for you know the unknown soldiers can they shoot when the sentinels first took up their post they were armed with a famous springfield m 1903 bolt action rifle from world war one okay these were soon replaced by the m1 garand and eventually the m14 rifle a ceremonial stock remains affixed to the gun however most on-duty sentinels do not have the 20 round magazine attached right so with the magazine missing are these rifles just for show it's rumored that each rifle has one round chamber just in case but if oh, worse really? comes to worse the tomb sergeant has a fully loaded pistol ready to deploy oh and in case you're wondering they are fully authorized to shoot anyone who disrespects the sanctity of the unknown soldier's tomb My. so even if you were kind of sure the rifles weren't loaded you wouldn't want to take your chances Remain behind the chains of rail. tomb guard salary the burning question on everyone's minds, how much do these elite soldiers get paid? Soldiers in the old guard are paid well, the think... same as any other service member of the same rank and time and grade. Right. You would think it's a decent amount. The fact that they got to be doing this throughout no matter what, you'd think so, right? They're also entitled to compensation for extraordinary expenses and additional dress uniforms. Okay. The thing is, the Sentinels do not display rank insignia. This is done so as not to outrank the buried unknown soldier, whatever their rank may have been. Right. However, sources point to an average salary of about $43,800 per year for this elite role. Oh, I but thought it'd be more. Your breath, these soldiers are all there because they consider it a sacred honor to have the opportunity to guard the unknown right that's cool they, they ain't doing it for the money they're doing it for the honor right there honor to have the opportunity to guard the unknowns but Disres still yo i ain't gonna lie from what from the signs of it of what they gotta do i feel like yo i feel like we gotta up up the salary a little bit bro expecting a tomb guard Visitors to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier are warned to exercise the utmost respect during particular ceremonies. They are required to stay behind the fenced-off viewing area and to remain standing and silent for the duration. Okay. If anyone tries to approach the tomb or is too loud and disruptive, the sentinel will interrupt the ceremony and give a single verbal warning while moving his rifle to the ready position. Oh, it is important that everyone maintain an atmosphere of silence and respect at all 
If that person continues to breach the tomb or be disruptive, the tomb guard is authorized and expected to use lethal force. Yo, wait, have they ever done that? Get behind the rail! This can be anything from laughing or talking loudly during parts that demand silence, crossing the chain boundary near the tomb, or acting inappropriately. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier is a place where tourists, Karens, and inconsiderates are taught a thing or two about respect. Wait, have they ever used that lethal force? It is requested that all visitors remain behind the chains and rails at all times. Behind the chains and rails. Where do sentinels live? Guards of the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier have a few accommodation choices available after their shift. Okay. While most of the Sentinels live in adjacent barracks at Fort Myers, for those that have 24-hour shifts, they can retreat to a secret hidden quarters buried under the steps of the tomb's amphitheater. When they're not sleeping or on active duty, Sentinels use the space for study and training. Their day begins at 5 a.m. with arrival at the Tomb Quarters 1 for duty. The Tomb Guards will inspect the quarters, prepare their uniforms, review orders, and receive their duty assignments for the coming day. At 6.30 a.m., the tomb guards inspect the trainee's readiness and uniforms. If a trainee meets relevant standards, the tomb guards may allow them to walk the first morning guard change known as a bolo at 7 a.m. The evening bolo will be the final change and walk of the day. Between Wait, you know with the tomb and the soldiers, then, do, they do, do the soldiers have like different patterns of stuff? I'd think they would just do like the same thing over and over again, but it's, it sounds like in this that they would like change it up. AM. The evening bolo will be the final change and walk of the day. Between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m., when the public is allowed access to the memorial, tomb guards will perform several ceremonies, including walking the mat, changing okay. of the guard, and various wreath-laying ceremonies. Interesting. Why tomb guards are so elite. The old guard is essentially ceremonial special forces, and despite their seemingly repetitive and easy job, they represent the very best of the best the army can offer. It's Damn. so elite that less than 20% of all volunteers are accepted for training, and of those, only a fraction pass training to become fully fledged tomb guards. Okay. Special number 20. Wait, that is that's very interesting. So for something like this, I know it's such an honor. But how come they select the best of the best for this? You know that if America were to be at war, would we actually send these into the battle or would they still be doing the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier? Because, you know, for the best of the best, you're probably going to want them in, like, combat right now. Or nah. But interesting, though. Very interesting. Past training to become fully-fledged Tomb Guards. It is cool. Special number 21. What's that? You see the number 21 repeated a lot in the military. And for the really? Tomb Guards, this is especially true. 21. During the walking of the mat, Sentinels take 21 steps before turning to face the tomb for 21 seconds. Wait, After what, why? After changing the shoulder of their weapon and turning to face down the mat, the guard pauses for another 21 seconds before again marching for 21 steps. Wait, why the 21? Then repeats this over and over until the guard change ceremony begins. 21 is seen as the highest honor awarded to military personnel. The 21 oh. gun salute is used to respect high ranking military officers, okay. presidents, and members of a royal family. Wait, what's happened to my mic? Oh. <laughs> Yo, my mic went so weird. I think my headset came out. Wait, what's going on? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, everything's breaking. Bro, that's interesting, though. Because I, I was wondering, why is 21 so special? Sentinel then repeats this over and over until the guard change ceremony begins. 21 is seen as the highest honor awarded to military personnel. Right. The 21 gun salute is used to respect high ranking military officers, presidents, and members of a royal family. I didn't Furthermore, know that. Furthermore, the first ever unknown soldier was buried on the 11th of November, 1921. The oh. unknown American soldier's remains were exhumed from a cemetery in France and repatriated to the U.S., where it was laid to rest below a three-level marble tomb. Tomb guard oh, training wow, okay. secrets. To become a tomb guard or sentinel, a soldier must be highly motivated, disciplined, and possess a strong military oh. bearing and soldierly appearance. Yo, you gotta be so disciplined to do something like this. You gotta, man. Because you gotta be doing like this like 24 hours. I know they're not gonna be doing 24. Wait, how long do they do it at once? One person. But still, bro. Like eight, ten plus hours of like, you know, stepping, like going forward and back and like you're silent and stuff like that. You got to be very, very, very disciplined. 
An application must be made through the sergeant of the old guard, and if successful, the soldier is assigned to the tomb for an initial two-week training period. The training cycle is intense, consisting of a series of five grueling tests over six to 12 months. These tests focus okay. on ceremonial performance, uniform preparation, and knowledge. At the end of the training cycle, trainees are expected to be able to flawlessly conduct seven different types of ceremonies, meet the highest standards of uniform preparation, and recite 35 whole pages of information without error. If oh, wow. a trainee fails... You know what? I do absolutely love this song. I actually love how serious they take something like this for all the unknown soldiers that unfortunately, you know, their families weren't able to bury them or whatnot. They, you know what I mean? Lost in battle. Bro, it is, it is beautiful of what they're doing right now and recite 35 whole pages of information without error if a trainee fails any test at any point they are assigned back to their company oh, if really? a trainee is among the tiny number of successful applicants each year they are awarded the tomb guard identification badge and will from then on be referred to as a tomb guard or badge holder by their fellow sentinels okay just to illustrate how prestigious this title is only around 700 tomb guard identification badges or TGIBs have been issued since the 1950s at a ah! rate of about 10 per year. Wait, wait, wait. I thought it was more than that. Is that it? Oh, wow. Yo, listen. Tomb Guard sounds really cool as well. Bro, that's actually... Yo, I didn't know it was that rare. That is an honor. Yo, I still feel like this should get paid a little bit more though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's your opinion on the two guards? Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Very respectful for the people that was lost in battle. Good video. Enjoyed that. Let me know what you guys think to it in the comment section. Let me know any experience you've had. If you've ever been there or visited there. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on twitch.tv forward slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.